third of the world's population is infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis. Every year, 2 million people die of TB. It's expected that there will be 9.8 million new cases this year, more than any other year in history. New infections occur at a rate of about 1 per second. Tuberculosis, or TB, is an epidemic disease which usually affects the lungs. It's caused by a small bacterium called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. When a person coughs or sneezes, the bacteria is released in small droplets of saliva and inhaled by those around them. You only need to inhale two or three drops of bacteria to become infected. The infections are latent, that is, they do not cause any symptoms. Nonetheless, about 1 in 10 infections become an active disease, causing chronic cough, fever, night sweats, weight loss and if untreated leading to forms of pneumonia and death. Treatment involves a cocktail of antibiotics taken for a minimum of 6 months. It's an expensive and complex, but as Dr. Alderwick, researcher of TB at the University of Birmingham, explains, an even more concerning problem is growing. The standard therapy for treatment of um, TB for patients who suffer from TB is uh, a regimen of antibiotics uh, which follows something called directly observed treatment short course. Uh, and this is a six month long treatment program which includes uh, the daily administration of um, rifampicin, isoniazid, and ethambutol um, for four months, followed by a follow up, a follow -up treatment period of two months with another two frontline antibiotics. Um, unfortunately, there are a number of strains now emerging which are resistant to many of these frontline antibiotics. Therefore, a lot of these drugs that are currently in use are becoming more and more useless. Drug resistance occurs as the TB bacterium divides. To do this, the genetic information is replicated. But random mutations occur, meaning that the characteristics of the offspring are different to the parent. Over time, with multiple divisions occurring from different individual bacteria, new traits appear in the one population. Biotic is intended to kill all mycobacterium tuberculosis affecting an individual. Nevertheless, if a bacterium has developed traits that make it resistant to the antibiotic used, it will not die and the drug is rendered useless for that individual. The drug will act as a selective pressure for drug resistance causing the number of resistant bacteria to increase in the individual and these resistant bacteria may infect other people. The drugs which combat TB have various mechanisms and effects on the bacteria. However, the last drug was discovered in 1963, which leaves dwindling options for treatment, considering that drug resistance is increasing. The sheer number of people contracting and dying from the disease makes it clear that more treatment needs to become available. To an extent, this is achieved by more rigorous healthcare programmes, but it's clear that new drugs need to be discovered. TB cell wall uh, biosynthesis, so that's the science basically to understand the physiology of how the TB puts together its very complicated and impermeable um, uh, shield around the cell which um, basically protects it from toxic insult, whether that be uh, an antibiotic or whether that be an immune response when, you, when it's infected within uh, a human macrophage within the lung. Uh, 